Hey everyone, welcome back to Dust and Legion Tale. I know I said I was going to uh, edit in the responses of those other two choices. It goes through the exact same dialogue, so it's not worth it. So let us continue on. Ooh, General Gaius. General Gaius? What news, Commander? I did not want to believe it, but Cassius is working with the Moonbloods. He has turned against us. That will be for me to decide. Our paths will cross at the Moonblood camp. Of that I am certain. I will speak with him personally. Is that... wise? Our victory is all but assured, Commander. We outnumber them ten to one. We possess superior technology. And we have the element of surprise. Here I found them. But why welcome this rogue element? He has already slain your own soldiers. What more proof do you need that he is a traitor to our cause? Cassius is hardly a rogue element, Commander. The Moonbloods have corrupted his mind, forced him to commit these acts against us. Once I can speak with him, once he remembers who he really is, I'm certain he will return to us. But... <clears throat> yes, sir. As you wish. Cassius, my old friend, so long as you draw breath, I will do what I can to save your broken mind. I promise. Hmm. Okay, uh Ever done Basin. Scare a trip about yourself, maybe put gender and the elders in the camp at the foot of the Ever Gone Basin. Alright. Oh, chapter five. Legend. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> Ooh, like this? Nice looking. Explosions everywhere! I don't see him yet. I'm already disappointed. Let's see. You know what? We'll go do that in a bit. I want to go to Mud Pot. Yes, sir, sir, I'm in. <laughs> Sorry, Dead said didn't count. Dust. Mm -hmm. That's a kiddo. Dust, you did it! You brought snow! I know how much it means to you, Bopo. Well, I don't have much to offer. Besides from this funny rock, <laughs> it don't seem to do anything down here in Mud Pot, but it looks pretty neat. Here, it's all yours. Hmm. Thanks, Bopo. Well, thank you, Bopo. We had our moment together, me and Pa. Taking a walk through the snow, building a fort, watching all those flakes fall from the sky. I know none of it were real, but I'll always have this memory now, thanks to you. I've just got to be strong now, for Mama. Thanks so much, Dust, for everything. Oh. Let's see. Rainbow Residence. Ooh, we get to open all of them. But we'll get to that in a moment. So there is something here, remember? Excellent.
two more. Okay. Cooler. Oh, yeah, I got that back. Right, that's where that sheep was. I'll have to go find where that last sheep is later. There's an up area over here. Oh. Try to look at the wrong area. Yep. Oh. Check the map real quick. Is there anything nearby? I haven't explored all this place yet, apparently. Eh. Let's just get out of here and go to Everdon Peace. It's not going to take me long to get there. Let's go to the place that explodes every day. Shop's restocked. I can probably buy that thing now. Excellent. Well, it's a little defense, but I get so much in other stats. Jeez. Okay. Let's get to the basin. I can get, like, the treasure and do all that other stuff later. Oh! Hey! Fidget, you take a nap. You deserve it, little buddy. Okay, now let's go. Oh! I'm on fire! Okay, I wasn't paying attention. Ice cream, ice cream, um... Get you. Escort? We welcome your presence, Sen Mithrarin. Preparations for war are nearly complete. Surely you have more soldiers than this. General Gaius is nothing if not thorough. His forces have exterminated most moonbloods from this land. We are all that's left. How do you expect to win with so few soldiers? Trickery! We cannot. That's why Ooh. we created Sen Mithrarin. You dust will turn the tide. Ah, uh, well, no pressure or anything. Yeah. Yeah, no pressure or anything. The fate of our existence relies solely dependent on you, but yeah, no pressure. Does General Gaius know of this place? I fear he does now. What? How? One of our own has been keeping an eye on you since your travels began. A merchant, Sereth. Aha! I knew that creepy merchant was one of you guys! How did a Moonblood operate so freely in the Wildlands? He is a smart businessman. Deals in all the right places. Gaius' soldiers turn their gaze from him in exchange for free goods. However, no amount of bribery could cover up that Sereth was helping you to find us. And that's how Gaius found out. How much time do you think we have to prepare? Not long, I'm afraid. The whole purpose of Gaius's campaign is to wipe us from the face of this world. Once he knows of our final stronghold, he will send everything he has and destroy us. Hmm. I wonder if, uh, he's dead now. No. I see all sorts of lamps here, but no fire. Is this the way of the flameless light? It is, yes. In ancient times, the Moonbloods went mm. by another name. 
We lived in a great society called the Sintak, and we wielded the knowledge to follow the way of the flameless light. Settle in dust. Uh. This could take a while. <laughs> we Sintak harnessed a power unlike any this world had ever seen. We built elaborate contraptions like these lamps, capable of piercing the darkness without so much as a spark. Well, obviously something went wrong, because we still have to build a fire every time Dust pulls out his map. Unfortunately, the ancient tomes do not say how the Sintuk fell, and that knowledge has been lost. Perhaps intentionally. Sacrificing All we know is oh. that our kind were made as outcasts, and that has remained true for countless generations. Mm. For the longest time, we believe the Moonbloods were the only ones left who know of the way of the flameless light. But we were wrong. When General Gaius began his purge, there were stories of their weapons. Stories of elaborate contraptions that seemed to defy the natural world. Weapons that sound identical to those of the Sintuk in the most ancient of tales. Mm. What kinds of weapons are we talking about? Arrows made of light. Machines that take to the sky like birds. And we are supposed to fight these things with your lamps. I did not say it would be easy. Nobody ever does. I did once, remember? Yeah, and you were wrong. <laughs> well, I'm here now. Is there anything I can do to help? We are spread rather thin. Our chief engineer, Sonjin, is having trouble with our camp's support systems. Go and speak with him when you can, and I'm sure he will explain further. There is also the matter of our scout, Kier. He is not checked in for many hours. But with our battle preparations, we have not been able to mobilize a proper search party. His patrol takes him east of our camp if you aim to find him. Okay. Let's see. Check for Kier. Let's see. Okay. No claws, combos. And... Okay. Mithrorin, do you need anything else? Thank you, Elder, but I must be on my way. Okay. Yes, much to do. Less and less time to do it. Good luck. Alright. Hey, Ginger. Ginger? Jin? Oh, Dust. It's you. Yeah, just me. Are you alright? I'll be fine. Just a lot to think about. Listen, about Jin. Yes? What was he like? He was very kind. Almost to a fault, really. I like him already. <laughs> yes, he had that effect on people. I like to believe it's what made you do all those wonderful things for Aurora and Mudpot. Aro was always testing me. Every time I made a choice, he would tell me if it was the right one. I was choosing whether to follow Jin or Cassius. I believe they were both trying to influence my actions. And you listen to Jin? Yeah, he's kinda hard to ignore. He is, isn't he? Or at least he was. No, Ginger, I think you were right the first time. I think Jin continues to live through my actions. He's guiding me, keeping me on the right path. But what of your other half? Cassius murdered my family, Dust. He destroyed my village, killed my friends. How can you control such a terrible being? I feel his presence every time I swing the blade of Ara. I believe the Elder was right. Without him, I'd have been cut down long ago. But Jin... Jin keeps him from taking control. As long as Cassius lives within you, though, there's always that danger. You could always be pulled to a path of evil. I won't lie. I felt him pulling me to take the quick and easy path. To leave the weak to fend for themselves. To show no mercy to those in my way. Perhaps someday you can be rid of his foul presence. Maybe. Someday. For now, I need him to defeat Gaius. There's no other way. I know. Still, I'm glad we were able to talk, Dust. Me too, Ginger. I'll be back before you know it. Be careful. Ginger? Hello again, Dust. Are you alright? I'll be fine. Just a lot to think about. Okay. Listen, 
Yes. What was he like? He was very... I like him. <laughs> yes. Like the Elder said, I may share your brother's soul, but the choices I make are mine alone. I'm sorry, Dust. I didn't mean to suggest. No, I'm sorry. I can't imagine the grief you went through in Zeplik, thinking I might have been your brother. You do have his eyes. His face. It's so... strange. You could really be him. Hmm. I suppose I could be. I may not have his memories, but if his soul is guiding me to act as he would, maybe there isn't a difference. Yes, Dust. Your actions make you who you are. Then perhaps your brother lives on through mine. I'd like to think so, Dust. It gives me hope that he didn't die in vain. I'm sorry things had to turn out this way. No, you're right. We all choose our own paths. Jin chose his. And looking at you now, looking at the things you've done, I think he made the right choice. I think he did too, Ginger. I'm glad we had this talk, Dust. It makes me feel a lot better, knowing that my brother is helping to save this world. Come back soon? Of course. Goodbye for now. That's it, last Ginger? Place. Yes? Are you all... I'll be fine. Just... Listen. Yes? What was he... He was very... I like him. <laughs> yes. He had that effect on people. I li like the elders. I'm sorry, mm. Dust. No. You do have his eyes. His I'm sorry, Ginger, but I'm not. It's okay, Dust. I know you aren't. But knowing that a piece of him is guiding you to help so many people, it makes me happy. I think it'd make Mom and Dad happy, too. I'm glad we were able to talk, Ginger. Me too, Dust. Come back soon? Of course. Goodbye for now. Okay. Let's continue on. Ooh, treasure somewhere. Oh. Ah, you've arrived just in time, Mithrarin. My name is Sanjin. I'm what you'd call a chief engineer, I suppose the term is. The Elder mentioned you needed some help? Yes, indeed. In the caverns below, we've set up machinery to provide the camp with power and water. Unfortunately, seismic activity has shut down both systems, mm. so we need to get them running once more. Okay. I have been rather preoccupied handling the battle preparations, so if you could, I would appreciate it if you went down there to examine the generators. Sure, Sanjin. I'll take a look. Thank you. You'll need to restart the generator and water pump when you're down there. We'll require both systems to be running if we're going to stand a chance against General Gaius. Yes, I have absolutely no idea how to... Uh actually work on <laughs> these engines that you want. But yeah, I'll go take a look. Whoa! Well, let's go this one first. the generator. Let's see if we can find a way to get it working again. I sense no energy emanating from the device dust. Perhaps there is a way to return its spark? <laughs> well done, Fidget. The camp should now be receiving power. Honestly, Fidget, where would I be without you? Probably still be wandering around in the mountains outside of Roar. Wait, what? What I meant to say was, uh, don't worry about it. Ah, <laughs> uh, fidget. <laughs> oh, 
Stop that! Thought there's something over here. This is the water pump. Huh. No wonder it stopped. These vines are growing all over it. Set it on fire. I don't want to risk damaging the pump trying to cut those vines. Maybe there's some way we can burn them off? This is a good place to stop. So thank you for joining me today on Destiny's Tale. Y'all have a nice day.